Hello all, my name is Adonis and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a monthly spread for all of my Capricorns out there for the month of February. So this is X return spread for all of my Capricorns for the month of February. So let's get after it. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. 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 Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards that I need to see. What type of energy is coming towards my Capricorns? Show me cards that I need to see. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so, <clears throat> right from the beginning, we had a situation where someone is, feels as if there's a great amount of abundance here, Re a, a great amount of abundance, material happiness. Also, there's an aspect of fertility here. So, this is an individual that's also looking to have a uh, start a family uh, with you, if, if, if to start a family with you, um, if, if, if things really begin to to uh, progress in a positive direction. So this is a person that really wants to have a solid long-term future with you, okay? This individual is an air sign individual, okay? A Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Now, um, this person is very emotion a very emotionally solid individual. So this person will uh, say what they mean and mean what they say here. There'll be a, there won't be a whole lot of ambiguity. They won't have, you won't have to do a whole lot of thinking about where this person is coming from. This person is 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 very is a very emotionally strong individual too. It's also this individual someone that can think on their feet. Okay, so um, they're a very emotionally stable, very mostly sound individual, and that makes them better able to make uh, a snap, uh, able to make more uh, uh, cause allows them to be a lot more thoughtful, if you will about uh, what kind of direction they want to take things in. So there, this, is a, this is a very insightful individual as well, okay? Um, adding to that, this person does a whole lot of, a lot of reflecting. There's a lot of reflecting. This person is a, a, a deep thinker too, okay? They're emotionally grounded, but they're also they're a deep thinker. Um, especially when it term, comes in terms of relationships. So th there's a lot of uh, 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 contemplating, reflecting that this person has done, especially in the aspect of pursuing a relationship with you, okay? Um, like I said before, the person is a real thinker. They thought about the different complexities, the different layers of the particulars of this, this relationship. They've also done a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching and reflecting within themselves. So they did. They they've done a lot of um, a lot of the uh, 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 spiritual and spiritual relative relative to the situation work externally. Okay, but they've also done a lot of it internally as well. So you know, they've done a lot of work and contemplation about the type of person that they want to be in this relationship as well. Now, even with all that being said. There's still, um, there's still the aspect in their mind that there's a possibility, okay, that they can still be left out in the cold, okay. Even with all that being said, because again, they're they're a thinker, okay. So they're they're looking at all the ins and outs, and and, and they're and they're saying, you know what, um, there still may be the possibility that that I may not, that I still may be left out in the cold. With this situation but this individual is still going to stay true to who they are okay they're not going to switch up they're not going to put on any kind of phony airs they're not going to pretend to be something that they're not to impress you they're going to be their authentic self because they want to present an authentic picture so you realize who you're getting involved with you know so in other words you know what you're getting okay and they feel as though even though that may cause you to walk away from them. They still would rather be authentic and lose you, tend to be inauthentic to have you stick around and end up leaving them later on down the line. Okay? Now, that being said, they're just kind of waiting for their ships to come in. 
They put it out there. Um, this is a this individual uh, can be recognized because this is an individual that, that has probably uh, um, articulated to you that they, uh, uh, um, you know, exactly what I just said. And they're just pretty much waiting on your decision to see what you're going to do. All right. So they're just pretty much waiting for their ships to come in. This individual has done a very good job of being able to have a good work-life balance. So they're able to, you know, juggle work and, and their personal life. They have a good work-life balance going on. So there's, there's an aspect of moderation here. In addition, as I said before, um, with a lot of, uh, this person is a lot of, a, a bit a, a thinker. Um, but also, there's a great amount of intuition here that has been used as well. So there's an intuitive nature to this individual to be able to kind of like um, anticipate where there's going to be ebbs and flows. So they're 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 pretty intuitive about this particular situation as well. And finally, we have this person has a natural uh, has has a natural uh, inclination for to be very a very charitable soul. So they're not only they're they're, they're charitable. Uh, with their finances, that's one aspect of it. They are very charitable with their finances, but they're also very charitable with their time, okay? They're very charitable soul with their time as well. So they're willing to put the time into a situation to understand the different dynamics of a particular situation, to give back uh, real feedback. Because I said this person is a real thinker, so this person probably would be the type of person that people will come to for like advice and things of that nature. So this is a very solid, very grounded individual here, all right? So there's that. So let's see what kind of... What kind of... Uh, Energy are your ex doing? What kind of energy is your ex dealing with? What kind of energy are you, is your ex dealing with? What kind of energy is your ex dealing with? What kind of energy are your ex dealing with? <clears throat> some cards I need to see. Some cards that I need to see. Here we go. Hmm. Well, it looks. It, it would appear as though um, your ex has been left out in the cold okay they've been left out in the cold uh there was the there was this aspect of a long-term committed solid relationship that they were they they were pursuing okay that they definitely were pursuing um with someone long-term committed relationship um where they believed that there was an aspect of an of, of moderation of there being an equal give and take okay so they thought they found a situation where there was an equal give and take to the situation um and you know they done they did a lot of they did a lot of you know a lot of reflecting about it so they, they thought that they were moving in the right direction when it came to pursuing this relationship even to the point where they took charge of the situation. That's where I feel as though things kind of went, went awry there. Uh, when they tried to take, they tried to assert themselves and try to pull things more towards the direction that they wanted them to go into here. Let me get some, let me get some clarification on the situation. Why is the chariot card here? Here's the clarification on the chariot card. Why is the chariot card here? Give us a clarification on the cherry card. Watch the cherry card. Here. Yep. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay, so. As I said, your ex was in a situation where uh, there was going to be a long-term solid commitment. That's what what was on their mind. If they had an equal give and take, they did some reflecting about it uh, towards uh, taking control of a situation to kind of kind of pull things in the direction that they wanted them to, because they were trying to pursue something that was long-term and traditional. However, that long-term tradition caused a lot caused caused some conflict here. Okay. Five of Wands. It was a lot of conflict and a lot of disputes that took place here. Whereas though they wanted something long-term, solid, and committed, possible marriage at some point, the other person didn't want that. It caused a lot of conflict and a lot of disputes towards a traditional long-term relationship. Now, 
this is a fire sign individual that they were dealing with here. Um, a Sagittarius, a Sagittarius, a, a Leo or, or, or an Aries here. So there was that. Um, and this per there was a lot of there was a lot of sexual chemistry and attraction between these two. There was even a charitable nature here with the situation. Okay, there was even a, a charitable nature, but it, it, it seems as though that what happened in that situation there was a miscalculation that um, the, the the sexual attraction. Um, there was a connection there. There definitely was a connection there, but it wasn't the type of connection here. Is that there was a, there, there was a miscalculation that this connection was a strong enough connection to take this thing into a different a different realm where there was a sense of uh, a long term committed relationship, possible marriage, that type of situation. So that is, so that they, there was a miscalculation made on that end. And that's what kind of uh, led to your ex kind of being uh, abandoned, if you will, kind of being left out in the cold. There was a separation there with that situation. So, with that being said, what are the chances of you and your ex reconnecting? What are the chances of you and your ex reconnecting? What are the chances of you and your ex reconnecting here? First, I need to see some cards that I need to see. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. <clears throat> well, it definitely appears that the will of fortune is going to move in the favorable direction. So there will be some type of meeting here that's going to take place between you two. Okay? But there's going to be something very deceptive about it. Okay? It's going to be some very deceptive uh, aspects to this situation here. Okay? Uh, so, the, so if the will of fortune is moving in the direction that you you guys are going to come across each other's orbit yet again, but there's going to be some kind of hidden perils here. There's going to be some deceptiveness there, okay? And there's also going to be this aspect of somebody, someone's trying to control the situation, okay? <clears throat> this person is trying to control the situation. Most likely is going to be your ex. They're going to try to control the situation and control, kind of control the outcome, if you will. Okay, and that's going to be, it's going to be kind of deceptive. So, um, even though there's going to be, there, there may be a, a reconnection with the situation, you're going to be aware that there's something not quite right about it, okay? So, the, the lines of communication are going to be opened up again um, at some point. But there's going to be some deception there, and there's going to be some controlling aspects to what's going to happen. And you're going to be aware of these controlling aspects, so... That's kind of gonna. It's gonna be interesting to see how that turns out. So, with that being said, let's see what additional information Spirit wants to give us. Why I set this thing down here. What additional information Spirit want to give us? Why I set this thing down here. What additional information does Spirit want to give us? Why I set this thing down here. What additional information Spirit want to give before I set this thing down here. Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards that I need to see. So as far as you go, your situation, they are big, happy changes on the way. Big, happy changes on the way, especially with this situation with this particular uh, individual here. Okay? Because uh, it, it feels the energy from this individual, from this air sign individual, fears, feels very um, pure, very legit. Okay? Um, meditation brings answers. Meditation will definitely bring you the, brings you the answers that you seek for this situation. To help give you a sense of clarity, you're also going to. It helps if you're kind of grounded, so you can make um, you can you can you can really make some solid uh, judgment calls on exactly how you intend to pursue uh, how how you exactly uh, you want to proceed with this potential uh, situation. And you know what? There's definitely going to be romance there. Definitely going to be some romance there, because like I said before, this individual, their you know their hearts in the right place, and so is their their hearts in the right place, and also they have very, um, very pure intentions. Okay, so there's nothing nefarious here to worry about. So, um, <clears throat> that looks to be a um, that's, that's a, I, I like ending things on a positive note here. Um, with this particular, with your particular situation. So with that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. Um, 
this is a general love reading. Um, it may not uh, it, it may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. Um, uh, I'll leave a link below if you want to know something about your particular situation. If this does resonate with you, hey, that's even better. And you want to know a little bit more about it, again, the link will be below. Uh, make sure you click that to get your personal reading. Um, also, if you haven't already, please like, please share, and please subscribe. Okay, don't forget to hit that notification bell either. My name is Adonis. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.